Welcome to the Luxury Bricks YouTube channel. In this video, we've got a Polaris Fire UTV, uh, also known as a side-by-side. -side. Uh, this vehicle is specifically used to fight brush fires that larger trucks can't reach in an off-road environment. Um, it's got two seats up front, so we can fit two firemen inside. First part of this video, we'll take a short tour of this vehicle, and then later on we'll do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build it. If you're a fan of LEGO and realistic custom vehicles built to scale for minifigures, then please like and subscribe to our channel and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads. Also, check out some of our other videos to see some more custom builds just like this one. So we'll just start up front and work our way around. Up front is the a push bar, so if there's some overgrowth, or some bushes they need to drive through. This will protect the front engine area. We've also got a headlight on each side and a spotlight bar up top above the windshield. And there's also a red LED light up top and there's an air conditioner. So we've got a climate controlled cab for the fireman. On the side is a door we can open and close. And there's a large ax here mounted on a bracket. Uh, there's two compartments here we can open up and in this first one we've got a first aid bag and then in the second one is a it's basically a like a backpack for the fireman but it is a water container so we can fill this up with water and the fireman can walk around this is kind of what it would look like got the little a uh, hose in his hand so he can walk around with his little water packet and spray grassy areas that are burning. So then up top here is a, just a bar you can hang additional equipment on and there's two spotlights. And the other side is pretty much the exact same uh, just a few differences we've got this large shovel here mounted and then inside uh, this first compartment is some air canisters and then we've also got an additional uh, water backpack which they can carry around and use as well at the back of the vehicle we've got a fire extinguisher mounted here we've also got uh, brake lights reverse lights and on these top corners are some red lights that would flash just like a normal fire truck We'll get a better angle here. This is the water tank. That's why we've got two axles at the back, and that's to support the weight of the water, which would be rather heavy. Up top is our water hose, which is currently wound up. And another cool feature with the back here is we've got a backboard. So if we need to evacuate someone injured, we can slide this up top. And our fireman would lock it in place. Put our little injured person up here. And then we could have our fireman ride back here on this back bumper if needed. And he's just not going to stand. There he goes. Next we'll take a look at the driver's compartment. So we'll pull off this roof piece. And inside we've got our two seats for our fireman. We've got a steering wheel and some radio controls here for the passenger. And then we'll pop off his windshield. Okay, can't. But if you look back behind the seat, here is another axe mounted on this back wall. So here we've got a small forest fire. We can roll up with our fire UTV. Pull out our hose. And our fireman. Put up the fire. Just like so. This hose comes out pretty far too. Alright guys, so that concludes the tour of this mock. 
The remainder of the video is the step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this if you're interested. The steps move by at a pretty quick pace, so if you need to pause, fast forward, or rewind, you can do so with the controls below. Also, there is a list of all the parts needed and the quantities needed at the very end of this video. So, hope you like this build, and thanks for watching.